How's it going? Uh, welcome to Confession. This is PH. Uh, I'm talking about blah. One thing about this is this is raw. I don't want to keep it as raw as possible because it's coming right off the top of my head. But mentors. I want to talk about my, my, my philosophy behind mentors and why everyone needs a mentor. Uh, I end up sacrificing getting paid work to work with the right people. And I'm never going to regret that ever. In this state, it is because without ambition, you don't go anywhere. And these people literally gave me knowledge, which equivalented to my time. And this is one thing I'm really lucky about is that I had the blessing to... I've worked underneath a couple people that are very inspirational and uh, I've learned a lot from just being around or being associated with them now for these past couple years. And my story is a crazy one on top of it all. And I'm coming out of a group of amazing filmmakers that keep on pushing the limit. Ugh, next level artists. Oh, I've had the the luck and the blessing to meet a lot of people personally where they give me their blessing to use their names and a couple of them have passed away which breaks my heart but it's just like it's hard to explain because it was kind of like them passing the flame too and men getting mentored and working with some a lot of the right people and some of the wrong people i've learned a lot like I just want to shout outs and the th thanks to the people that have spent the time and quality time, not quantity time, quality time with me to teach me, to show me the way and, you know, give me the ability to grow. And I'm really upset that like some of these relationships, like they're not really that existent right now, but I'm hoping that in the future that time will fix it. Uh, going back to, uh, let's go back. Uh, my mom's always been a huge influence on me, um, uh, mentor wise consistently. I'm not a mama's boy, um, being bipolar in the way that I think it's impossible for me to be a mama's boy, but, uh, my mom has definitely been a teacher to me and a mentor, uh, in the spiritual world. And then also in helping me out in life because like, I'm a, I'm a tough case, very, very, very tough case. And I start seeing some of these names and telling a little bit of these stories. People understand why. Uh, but my mom, Sam Watson, the Fort McMurray medium, huge influence in my life. And she always be my brothers. Uh, I grew up in their shadows. They were, you know, always had friends, always doing really good in school. So I've always had them to look up to. Their friends, they always, they, people picked me up as a little brother. I never realized like, like how lucky I was with the people that I was able to hang around with consistently. Uh, I got spoiled dramatically uh, just being around certain people that were highly influential. Going back to the main roots. Uh, Mrs. Oaks, my computer teacher. And one of my really good childhood friends, mother, Mrs. Hamlin, uh, again, like another mother to me, uh, Spose, like you're supposed to do in the entertainment industry. Uh, Tim was one of my really good friends, uh, probably one of my best friends in high school, thinking about it in middle school. Spent a lot of quality time together and we, we did some, we had some kinds of trouble together and Always had a good time hanging out with Tim. So uh, Ryan was always there and present in my life. Spose, a shout out to Spose. And then also I did some photography. Cam Groves always had the same persona in Maine. And then ended up heading, heading it and going to Hawaii. Uh, life just inspired me dramatically. It was a mentor until I got out to L.A., and then when I got to LA, I ended up falling into the right group of people. Uh, my first roommate, uh, Sarah Van Acker, a talented, talented screenwriter. 
met her very fast, worked on Echo and Nelly, worked with Catherine Morris from Cold Case, Riley Smith. He was on, well, recently on Nashville and has an album out, Life of Riley. Both of them pulled me aside, finding out my story, and we had some great conversations and highly inspirational for me. But that was just my first set in L.A. Uh, Ray Such, Christina, Michelle. I didn't... Uh, Chuck All-Star, Tr and, and Tay, the artist. Treadle, uh, the family from... From Wait... Wait was the first... Cons first film concept they ever wrote and worked with a group with and then I was a lead actor and uh, Christina was a lead actress that really launched my film career and my, my love for filmmaking uh, the confession crew again always inspirational indie gathering crew Action on Film Festival, going out to L.A., uh, I ended up really, really getting lucky now and getting spoiled. I, I was a PN and got thrown onto a runway for a, a TV pilot very early in my career for no pay again. But that wasn't the issue. Like, I was new in L.A. too, and I just wanted to network, and I enjoyed being on set. Stacey Sills, uh, this is where I met, you know, my, one of my camera mentors, which is uh, <laughs> Jamie Hall. Congratulations for the VR uh VR Film Festival, best film. Congratulations, because I, I know that series was, what, nine films deep? Maybe more, maybe less, but like it's been around for a while, and the advancements te technologically-wise, Jamie is always on the cutting edge. And without working with Jamie and for Jamie uh, and volunteering with Jamie and him taking me on as an apprentice, I would not have learned uh, 3D at all or been exposed to 3D at the level that I was. Like, I got spoiled, and they say hindsight's better than foresight. And then working with Andy Holton, who's the editor at uh, at Hulu, uh, Andrew Bentler, uh, Kimmy Kim Futron, that whole group, you know, partying with other people, and Andy Favre, or Alpine, like, I really got exposed and started working with a lot of people and I learned a lot. Like it was a lot to handle coming from being a coastal boy from me. But then also the recognition I was getting, I didn't understand and nobody was reconfirming for me either. So that was a really hard thing to really uh, comprehend. And now as my, my, my career is taking off, across the board and my life's taking off across the board I just want to reminisce and uh, give thanks to these people that actually really really have influenced my life like Andy produced my first song ever I was La Fontaine that Sundance 2012 crew we were definitely not enough roughnecks some of us have won Emmys since then, uh, well, a couple of us have won awards since then, directed some big films or directing bigger films. Bill Bursky has been a huge influence in my life too. Uh, Julia Avenova, again, I'm really, really blessed to have worked with both of you. Tim Mullen, and these people, like, they're so busy. So, like they say, you can pick your mentors. And somehow, I got blessed just to be around these people. Roddy Piper, Kim Fowley, uh, even Craig Robinson, running them three times randomly in my life. Like, every time was always a great experience and a positive experience and inspirational. Also, the times of life that I ran into and were like, damn, PH, fuck, man, like, you're really getting it done. Uh, Chi Chong, uh, Ray Dong Chong, you know, meeting her really brought me down to reality and humbled me a lot. No, not really. 
uh, let's be honest, I uh, ended up getting more narcissistic after dealing with those situations. Oh, but life is what it is, and you realize that you get what you put into it. And these people that are in my life that have been influencing me for so long, uh, these are nobodies to a lot of people, but to me, these are these people are everything, and they've defined my whole world and my universe, and they've influenced me. There's some names I forgot, and I know I have. Uh, Aaron Goodwin. There's another. There's one. Uh, but like, wow! Without these experiences, I would not be who I am, or have the abilities that I have today. And this is why I want to say thank you to all my mentors. Uh, this is my. Confession, it's PH Aloha.